Thanks, Katie. Earlier this week, students were under the impression that they were eligible for the vaccine if they lived in a dorm. However, in his bi-weekly press conference today, McMahon says the assumptions were false, but did not disregard students entirely. Essentially, the residence halls are similar to like an apartment complex. So just because you live in an apartment complex doesn't mean you're eligible at this point. Uh, but the good news is uh, those students are kind of counted in our 360,000 adults. Uh, probably at this point next week, we'll be talking about having probably at least 110,000 people vaccinated. Now, despite the fact that students are not eligible for the vaccine based off living in a dorm, McMahon hopes that they can be as soon as the spring. Katie and Ryan, back to you.